The Beekeeper is here on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray, released by Warner Brothers. It can be found as a slipcover edition, available at your local and online retailers. Now, it seems like every month or so, Jason Statham has a new action flick out, and director David Ayer's latest, The Beekeeper, is that film. It's action-packed for sure, trying to replicate the John Wick formula, but falls too much into cartoon territory, especially near the end. It's enjoyable for what it is, but I don't see it making a lasting impression for most. The Beekeeper on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray has an aspect ratio of 239 to 1, finished at a 4K digital intermediate, and supports HDR10. Warner Brothers transfer is a visually pleasing experience on the 4K format. For you pixel counters out there, bit rates are relatively healthy, giving the picture consistent stability throughout the runtime. Digitally shot action films like this typically shine when it comes to their 4K transfers, and this one is no exception. The 4K DI doesn't quite hit razor sharp levels of clarity, but it's pretty darn close. What the 4K DI does do is give the viewer significant uptick in regards to details. Textures show significant gains across the board. Jason Statham's grizzled facial features show off every bit of detail, including also exhibit better definition. Mid-level shots benefit as well. Supporting HDR, the palette enjoys very nice enhancements. Visual flourishes are found during the call center sequences, with vibrant lighting and screens offering a bit of eye candy. Day sequences are also quite striking, especially in the third act at the Danforth Estate. Skin tones lean naturally warm, and whites are stable throughout. Black levels hold their own. There are a good number of low-level lighting sequences that manage to properly convey the proper look with no issues, in part with the help of HDR and stable disc encoding. Shadow detail does a solid job in its own right with no instances of crush. The Beekeeper on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray supports a Dolby Atmos audio mix, which of course folds down to a Dolby True HD 7.1. There is also an alternate Dolby Digital 5.1 track. A rather dynamic, robust audio experience awaits the viewer, and it certainly doesn't disappoint. As good as it is, I wouldn't say it's top tier in quality, but I can't imagine most audiophiles would complain. Action is the name of the game, and when it's on screen, the entire surround environment lights up like a Christmas tree. Bullets are consistently whizzing by your head. The score of ambient chaos effects bring a fun level of immersion. Height activity is a healthy mix of both the discrete and complementary variety in regard to their output. Once again, action sequences showcase this more and often provide fun results. Dialogue is nicely prioritized up front and clear even during the more chaotic in film moments. The low end has some serviceable heft to its delivery, but doesn't stray into the overly aggressive territory. Explosions, gunfire, and the occasional hand-to-hand -hand fight scene will move the needle in the LFE. Unfortunately, in regards to extras, there's no supplemental materials of any kind that can be found on this disc. Zip zero nada, not even a trailer or audio commentary. For the picture quality, I'm going to give the Beekeeper on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray an A. Warner Brothers Transfer is going to please fans who like a near-pristine looking action film. Colors with HDR are strong and bold, black levels are solid, and textures have good depth. This is a more than satisfying 4K picture. For the audio mix, I will score this an A as well. For those that enjoy a good, robust Atmos track, this action film has you more than covered. When the chaos begins, audio cues populate the surround environment with an effective delivery. It's a very well-rounded, entertaining mix. For the extras, I had to score this an F. Nothing in regards to supplements were provided by the filmmaker or the studio. If you're a supplements fan, this will no doubt be annoying. So that is my review of The Beekeeper on 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. If you're interested in picking up a copy for yourself, I will leave a direct Amazon link in the comment section. If you use it, it really helps out the channel. But if you have the disc already, let me know your thoughts down below. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guide 365. I will see you at the movies.